day, YouTube friends. A while back, I showed you the community tab, and I put out my first post where I had a quick poll asking you what you'd like to see me make, and 50% of you wanted to see a Tinkercad pickup truck, and today is the day that's going to happen, so let's switch to Tinkercad and make this project come to life. First things first, we need to do create a new design. Of course, we want to start by changing the name. I'm going to just call it truck. And of course, I'm going to put my initials after it because that's what I do. Time to build, my friends. And let's do it by bringing out a cube. And let's change its measurements to 45 wide and 90 long, making sure that you press enter after each of those movements. I'm going to move it back out, but you can see that my front is lined up with my front so that my work plane is going to make sense for the rest of the project. Let's click on the radius, and I'm going to do a radius of 4 so that my truck is nice and streamlined. And I'm going to pick a sweet blue because that's what I want to make my truck out of. Alright friends, now that we got the body of our truck, let's draw the cab. Start by first doing your work plane so that you're going to be on the side of it and then bring out the scribble tool. When you launch scribble, just draw the cab of your truck with some kind of rounded like cab shape. I'm gonna fill that shape in using the very cool fill shape because later we're gonna cut windows uh, with a different technique. So see how easy it is to just draw the fill and boom, I have now got the front of my cab. I'm going to zoom out so I can see better. Then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it across to where I want. I've got it the right shape, but i got to put it at the right height. So let's use this technique where we hit W. And then if we click that shape once and hit D, it drops to that height. I'm going to use the little black handle to pull it across to the exact right length. And then I'm going to right click drag to spin around and pull it to the right spot on the other side as well. I'm going to grab both of those and I'm going to align them by clicking center. Put my work plane back to the bottom and then just because I made an adjustment you'll notice that the movie might be a little bit different. I'm going to make this piece red. I still want this to be blue. I'm going to click on this piece and so that it lines up with the rest of my movie I'm going to make it red. And then I'm going to push it in just a couple so that it's connected better. And there I've got the body of my truck and I can group it so we can move on. And it's time to add the wheel wells to my cool truck. I'm going to make my wheel wells out of the round roof. And when I bring them in, I need to rotate them 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay close to the shape, it uses these nice long tick marks for how it moves. I'm going to sink these in 8 millimeters. Uh, that'll help with the curve. I'm going to make sure that it stays the 20 millimeters for the size in that direction. And I'm just going to line that up so it's sticking out 1 millimeter from the car. I'm going to change it to a hole. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate. And I'm going to just use the arrow keys to move that, that wheel well back to where I want my back wheel. If you want to look at it from your side view, you can see if you really like it. I'm going to move mine back just a couple and forward just a couple. And then I'm going to group those by clicking shift and clicking the second shape and grouping it. I'm going to look at a top view. I'm going to do control D to duplicate again. You'll notice it blinked. I'm going to move it to the other side. And then I'm going to go to the other side and make sure it's lined up on that side as well. Holy moly, that was just luck, but it is one millimeter out just like it was on the other side. Let's group that so that the wheels are together or the wheel wells are together. And we'll come back to wheels when we're done with the body of our truck. But so far, so good. Friends, this is looking pretty sweet, but I would like to cut out our cab. Let's start by clicking W so that the whole box lands on our cab and then I'm going to give it the rounded corners I'm going to put a two this time and then I'm going to stretch it or I'm going to shrink it holding shift so it fits in and if I pull it to me with the arrow keys I can see where it's going to line up I'm going to raise it up just a couple clicks 
And then I can see the little black handle back here that lets me stretch it way out so that when I look at it from a corner, it's totally cutting through my car. I can use the arrow keys to nudge it exactly where I want. I think I'm going to raise this up like a rectangle just a little. And when you are happy with where it's at, simply group those parts and you will have cut out the cab of your vehicle. If you want to cut out a place for people to sit, you can just repeat that technique. I am not going to do that. I'm going to go right to cutting out the bed. To cut out the bed, I'm going to set the work plane on the ground. I'm going to bring out another box. I'm going to take that box and raise it up. I'm going to go five high. And then I'm going to turn on the rounded edges just because I think that'll make the box look cooler. I'm going to do the two again. And this is where you have to decide, do you want to have a tailgate or not have a tailgate? I'm going to choose to have a tailgate. So notice I came inside the blue. And then I'm going to use the black handle to just stretch it as far as I want my truck's bed to go. I'm going to switch and look at it from the back or the back corner. Take your pick. I'm going to stretch it a little bit wider. I'm going to go to the other corner. And that lets me see this black handle a little bit better. And I'm going to stretch that a little wider. And when I'm happy, I'm going to grab the two pieces. And I'm going to choose a line. And I want them in the middle. When I click group, you can see that the bed cuts out. And my truck is starting to look like a pickup truck. You can also see that there are holes where my wheels are. This is common in a lot of pickups, and we're going to make this look a little cooler by ungrouping it back to where the wheels were. So on mine, I have to ungroup, I think, three times. And then when I get that completed, I'm going to just select the body and the back of the truck, and I'm going to select the hole I put for the windshield, and I'm going to group those three together. And then before I group these, I'm going to drop in my cool wheel wells, which I'm going to do with the round roof. So I'm going to hit the work plane. We'll click and drop that in and put our round roof in position. We need to rotate our round roof. Notice I'm looking at it from the top, so that makes it pretty easy. Sometimes I switch to those top corner views, but I want to get that red rotation arrow so that it rotates. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Notice if I stay close to it, it makes it easier to snap into location. And then I'm going to drag it where I want. I'm going to shrink it to the size that I think is pretty nifty. And I'm going to do Control D. And then just pull it across with the arrow keys. Making sure that they're both in the same amount. I like that. Now I can grab everything. Notice there's five shapes because I've also got the wheel wells selected and this time when I group it it cuts out the awesome wheel wells gives me the nice shapes there and also has the cool little bumps that are in the back of most pickups my goal is for you to start seeing the cool things you can add to this like cool fender flares maybe headlights some cool grill maybe hemi engine ports coming out the front license plates the name on the back all those awesome things that you can come up with on your own right now i'd like you to grab the cone and lift it up a little and then type the number 10 to get it so it's a specific amount off the ground now we're going to press W for work plane and let's put our first wheel in this location. Instead of basic shapes, I want you to choose all shapes. Scroll down and we're going to switch to tab number three, although this may change, but you want to find the wheel. When you bring the wheel out, set it out here in wackadoodle land. Make sure you're holding the shift key and pull down a little. Let go and in the box, type 18 and press enter and it shrinks every measurement to 18. Because you've got the work plane selected, you can carry it into place real quickly. If you do fit view, you can get a good look and make sure that you've got it lined up just the way you want using the arrow keys. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit by scrolling my wheel. I'm gonna change it to black. 
I want my tires to be a little thicker, so I'm going to look at it from a corner. And I'm going to pull my wheels out so they stick past my truck. I think that just looks a little more cool. Because I want this to be attached, I'm going to push it in one millimeter. And then I'm going to do control D to move the next one forward using the arrow keys. Because I've got it selected, this is so cool. You can just hit fit view to selection and it jumps right to where that wheel is. And we want to look at it from the left so that we're sure we have it lined up. Now I'm really happy with that. I'll go to a top corner view and I'm going to zoom out by scrolling backwards. I'm going to hold down shift and select both wheels and I'm going to group them. When these go back to not being red, I'm going to press the duplicate key. I want to look at my car from the other side because this trick is so cool. I'm going to press W and I'm going to put my work plane over here. And when I hit the letter D, it drops those wheels on the other side. Just like that, you have almost instantly added cool, epic wheels to your truck. So friends, hopefully you can see now just how awesome these can end up. Have fun, cut anything out, add headlights, do all those epic things. I'm going to tell you I don't recommend grouping the wheels just because they are super uh, complex, but I hope you totally have a blast with this and make something awesome. If you like the movie, please hit the like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, what are you waiting for? And if you want to know when I make a next movie, please click that notification bell. If you have a question or a comment, make sure you share it down below. And if you make something awesome, make sure you share it at HL Mod Tech. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.